Dhamma greetings to everyone who are watching this and today we are here before we go to the excursion trip. We are doing this excursion trip especially for our graduate students of IBSC and let's find out where we are going today. Fo Kuang Shan Tai Hua Temple is located on Kubon Road, Klong Samwa District, Bangkok, and it is also called the Institute of Buddhism Theravada Mahayana. It is a branch temple of Fo Kuang Shan Temple in Taiwan, built with Taiwanese Chinese architecture. Inside the temple, there are some interesting items like a building enshrining three Buddha statues, including the Shakyamuni Buddha, the Amitabha Buddha, and the Vaisajya Guru Buddha. Their appearance is golden in the eyes and there is a carved image of the goddess Kuan Yin adorned on the wall beside the main Buddha image. So at the Uposada Hall, first of all, all the students, lecturers, staff, we gathered together and had a chanting in front of the three Buddha images. And then we also learned about the history of building the Uposada Hall as well. There is also the Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva Vihara, a large, tall golden Kuan Yin, and statues of Chinese gods decorated around the temple. Inside is an air-conditioned room, which is the location of the Me Kuan Yin statue of four positions in the middle of the temple for tourists to worship. The four positions consist of giving birth to a child, giving blessings, offering prosperity, and giving good fortune. As far as learning goes, it's very interesting what uh, Ajahn Ananda had to say about the differences between Mahayana and Theravada Buddhism. But also it's a constant reminder, like I say, of the things we should be thinking about every moment. The most impression things is I find here, uh, they incorporate the culture and the Thai tradition here. It's not only the Chinese Mahayana way, they also see from the name. Its name is Tai Hua Si. Tai means uh, Thailand tradition. Hua means China. So it's just to combine these two kind of things. So I really learned this a lot. If you want to do something in another culture, you should like, also respect the culture. They can adapt for many non-religious people. So I think i really fascinated by the humanistic Buddhism of Fo Guang Shan. Yeah. So for this afternoon, we are here at our second place for this excursion trip and now we are here at the National Museum of Bangkok. So we all students of IBSC and faculty members are here to learn about the history of Buddhism in Thailand. So let's find out what kind of history of Buddhism can we find here in this museum. The National Museum Bangkok is located in the area of the Bawon Satan Mungkon Mansion, or the Front Palace Wang Na, was built in 1887, the same period with the Grand Palace. Inside the museum, students had opportunity to learn about the history of Thai art through generations, exhibit types and evolution of archaeological arts in Thailand, and especially Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, the esoteric Buddhism and Mahayana Buddhism during the period of Tawarawadi Sivichaya era. Because today we focus on the, the Buddhist object, so uh, I take the tour around uh, the museum by starting from uh, the beginning of the arriving of Bud Buddhism to Southeast Asia and Thailand and follow up by timeline until to Bangkok period. New things for me is uh, I didn't know the history of the Thai Buddhism before. Uh, it has a multi-play belief in Thailand, uh, believe in Mahayana Buddhism and uh, Vajrayana Buddhism and also Theravada Buddhism and tends to Theravada Buddhism. Yeah, this is a new knowledge for me. While I came here, I was so tired, but when I entered and see the arts and the statues, everything, it energized me and feel so connected and so how thankful one thing I can apply into my daily life is uh, to respect different belief, different culture in, uh, in different tradition. Uh, we only can show us uh, respectful.
for the honor tradition. We think that technology is like overtaking us, but from today, I saw that how hardworking they were. Even they can depict or create such a nice art from the stone carving of the bronze and so many things. So I really get inspired to working hard. So. So this is it for today's excursion trip. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you IBSC faculty members and staff to organize this wonderful trip. And until then, see you next time for another trip.